Hello and welcome to uh, 5 minutes about ADHD and or autism. My name is uh, Vibeke and uh, I will uh, spend 5 minutes to talk about what, what I have learned and, and realized about uh, those two diagnoses. I'm a teacher and I'm a mom to um, several kids with uh, both diagnoses. Do you know this? Uh, this morning when um, you yell again and again, do that! Take your clothes on, wash your hands, do it now. What are you doing? Why, why aren't you doing what I'm telling you to? I don't know. Start doing it now because I've told you so many times, but do it now. And you, you have all these feelings, you're getting more and more upset. And still the kid is standing and saying, I don't know, mom. I don't know. I didn't do it on purpose. And nothing is happening. He's still not wearing his clothes and he's still not eating his breakfast. Uh, nothing is happening, and uh, and you are angry, and then you say, "Don't you understand? I'm getting angry." No, yes, no, and you have this feeling that that your kid have no idea about why you are angry. Actually, it's a logic thing, because kids with ADHD and autism often don't realize or recognize what your face is telling them. They hear your words. Haven't you done that yet? And the answer will be no. Your next question is, why? Your only logic answer is, I have no idea. I don't know. Because they don't know. Their brain hasn't helped them through all those um, tasks you gave them this morning. And they don't know why. It's not because they want to be rude. They just really don't know why. It's just a hard job. They can't manage it. And they... They doesn't hear your tone, that you are sound very angry, sounding very angry. They don't hear that. They only hear your words. Haven't you done it yet? Um, when, um, when my oldest kid, my oldest boy was about 10 years old, we, we would start thinking about this could be autism. We knew about the ADHD, but, but there, was, there was something which mm, we couldn't just put it under ADHD. And... Um, I'll show you the way that we found out that there could be some autism in there. We start making drawings, drawings about uh, all all kind of conflicts in our home. They could look like this in the beginning, with uh, some faces or some bodies, and something to think about what they were saying and what we were feeling. And I have an uh, an example here. Uh, somebody is. Uh, saying stupid cow to another one. Actually, he's doing it for fun. This is fun. Um, but, um, and he's happy, he's happy to sex. And uh, hmm, this guy doesn't see the smile. He doesn't hear the sound that he was, hey, you stupid cow, what are you doing? He didn't hear the, the funny nose, uh, noise, the, um, the happy noise. He just hears the word stupid cow. And he thinks, he hates me, and he say, "I hate you." He's angry to eight. Every uh, always use from one to ten because uh, else you will. It could be um, I'm angry to eight thousand nine hundred, and it is too. Um, it is too big. Uh, make it small. One to ten. One, it hurts like this. Actually, not at all. And uh, pain to ten is. Um, a chainsaw uh, taking off your arm or something like that. Put some examples on and always choose from one to ten. Um, what it what it shows us was every time I asked my son, what I take the other one. When he said stupid cow, what did what do you think that he was thinking? He had no idea. He never had any idea about what other people were thinking. And actually he was very stressed when we asked him because how should I know that? I don't know. He didn't tell me. When we start to to ask him, but what about me when I'm when I'm sounding when I sound angry and and yell? Why didn't you brush your teeth? Well, I know it when you are in, are walking because your feet is making a hard sound to the floor when you are angry. Oh, okay. What about that? Well, Dad has um, some wrinkles here when he's angry. 
Um, so, but I had to see him. I had to watch him before I know if he's into or not. It was a big eye opener for us, and uh, and I realized that we had to, we had to put words to all our feelings. We had to, we had to say, I start getting angry now. I'm I'm getting angry. I am angry, and most important, I'm not angry anymore. It helped him so much. I. I actually can't explain what it means to our family that we start to put words on our feelings. Um, actually, it helped him over a lot of time. It helped him to do the same. You are stressing me out, he would say, because we learned him that we could do the same. We could say, now you're stressing me. Now you are making me sad. Now you're making me angry. But realizing this, he doesn't look at my face, what, what it tells him, then how is he supposed to know when I'm happy again? If I said, I'm so angry with you, and I didn't clean up and say, now I'm happy, then he might think I was angry for days. So put words to your feelings and do it all day, every day, every time you have a feeling, negative and positive. I hope these five, six minutes can make a difference.